Kelly Kretschmann, I play for the USSA Pride and I also play on the US national team. The best thing about playing on the USSA Pride is that um, you know, I get to play, have an opportunity to play with some of the best players that I consider in the world. Um, we're all all Americans from many different colleges and uh, get to come together and play on one team and play in the Pro League um, and play some great competition all the time. So, um, you know, our team is kind of the, the New York Yankees. Uh, so, uh, you know, I really appreciate that and uh, love the fact that I get to play with those caliber of athletes. Playing on this team is uh, different than the other teams I've played on because, um, you know, we just get along. We all get along and it's a genuine uh, care about each other. Um, nobody really cares uh, what stats came from, uh, from our past. Um, we just appreciate how good we are as athletes, uh, as softball players, and uh, just enjoy being around each other. I've been able to play on a lot of different teams. Um, Throughout my career, I've, I've started at shortstop uh, in college and then I moved to the outfield. Uh, I played center and then I moved to right. Um, so I've been in a lot of different uh, spots on the field, but um, you know, I don't think people really like me as a softball player because of my defense, although I can play defense, but um, really the reason why I'm really playing is because I can hit and I've been, pretty much been in the lineup because of that. So I've learned to be able to continue to play this game at the level that I want, that I, I need to, to change things, uh, whether it was my eating, uh, the way I ate, uh, to be better at the things that I was putting in my body. Um, and to be honest, I just thoroughly enjoy working out. Uh, I've started to, to have a better workout program for myself. Um, I know what I need to make myself be in the best shape I can. Um, and just, uh, and to kind of change my attitude a little bit to where, uh, to be able to hang, hang with these younger girls and enjoy the things that they kind of enjoy, um, to kind of just put myself in, in their shoes and not put myself that I am so much older than them, but just kind of get in their environment, get in their, get in their mindset um, and enjoy, enjoy them and enjoy what we're doing. So, um, but the biggest thing would probably be my nutrition and just my workout, just figuring out what, what was going to work best for me. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to have been able to figure that out and, and I'm still going. So hopefully I can uh, continue to do that for a couple years. I bat left and I throw right. Um, I, ever since I was a little kid, uh, I remember a picture of me with a wiffle ball bat and I'm holding it, you know, like I'm a lefty hitter. Um, but I think it's because I, I just tried to emulate Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, I watched him on television and I would just stand in front of the television and, and try to be him. And I just think that's just kind of just the way my body <laughs> ended up being. Um, but um, yeah, I just, I just think it happened. Uh, I probably could, if I hurt my, my arm right handed, I could probably. Uh, throw lefty if I worked hard at it. Um, I can kind of do things with both hands, so I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that. Um, but again, I just, I love the way his swing looked and I just tried to look like it, so. I heard about PowerNet uh, through one of my teammates, Mo Mercado, on the USSA Pride. Um, you know, she just talked about how great the, the nets were and how much she enjoyed using them and, and uh, how the tees were, you know, could stand up well. And just, the product was really good, so I just was really interested and uh, just wanted to join the team. To be able to use the nets wherever I decide to train for that week or wherever it is that I am in the country because I travel so much um, and just to be able to you know throw it up and use the tea and just kind of have that uh, freedom to be able to train wherever I need to uh, it's going to be really exciting and I'm excited to use it because you can work on your own I mean that's I think the greatest thing is that you can just throw up a net throw up a tea wherever you are and practice you know and, and the more you can just practice and, and get out there and, and do things the better off you're going to be so just the availability of being able to just you know throw it in your car throw it throw it on your back and just walk out to a field and, and be able to hit or throw or what, you know, whatever it is you're doing that day is, I, how can it not benefit you? Well, when I won a gold medal, um, you know, it was kind of the culmination of all the hard work uh, that I had put in throughout my career. Um, and it was just something that, uh, you know, I'll never forget and never appreciate that moment enough uh, to just realize that, you know, if you work really hard that, you know, th your dreams can come true. I've, I've felt beat multiple times um, you know and I think the biggest thing that's helped me overcome it is just the sports hard um, you know I don't play the sport because it's easy um, I try to remember that I love the game because it's difficult um, and the faster that I can overcome uh, you know those obstacles or those defeats that I've had um, you know I know the better off I'm going to be so just try to keep in mind that it's hard um, but that's why I do it so um, that, that's kind of just helped me keep a better mindset about when the failures happen. If I got the opportunity to go to the Olympics for a third time, um, you know, one, I'd be completely honored. Uh, you know, there's nothing like representing your country at the Olympics. Um, but my mindset would probably be a little bit different. I mean, 
I've won a gold medal, I've won a silver medal. Um, I've been on that, that high and I've been on that disappointment. Um, but I think I would try to probably enjoy it a lot more. Um, this probably isn't going to be my last Olympics if I'm fortunate enough to make the team. Um, but just kind of take in every moment. Um, you know, I'm a little bit smarter than I was uh, 10 years ago. So hopefully I take that to my advantage, um, that, uh, that my game's gone to another level because I am smarter. Um, you know, just learning the pitchers and different things like that that I never really thought about 8 or 10 years ago. So, um, but more just enjoying the moment, enjoying the fact that I had the opportunity to be able to be a part of another Olympics um, would probably be the number one thing I would do.